yeah, you're seeing it. That's the Mi drone. And I'm filming that with the Xiaomi Mi Gi action camera, which is attached to the Mi gimbal. So I really feel like I'm branded today. Uh, it's gonna be the Xiaomi branding. The only thing I'm not gonna use in a few moments from now is a smartphone when attaching uh, and connecting to the drone because I, I don't own one. But anyways, um, the, the purpose of this review is to have a look at the new, well, it's not new anymore, but that's the Mi 4K drone. This drone was released maybe a, a few months ago and I'm sure that you have already seen a number of reviews about that and I've already made a range test that you can follow as well. Um, I'm just not gonna follow the regular unboxing, first impressions, experience, etc. because likely that's gonna be quite boring. Uh, after having it for kind of two weeks now, I've already made some thoughts about weaknesses and strong points, which I'm about to share, among with some brilliant footage in 4K. Let's get started. Let us first have a small talk about what this Mi drone represents. Uh, first of all, size. It is a bit larger than um, the DJI Phantom, any of its version. And I would say probably in terms of competition, uh, it is really close to the Phantom 3 second edition. Uh, the reason for that is the availability of 4K camera. The original Mi drone is um, having just a full HD camera and then we have this upgraded version. It's very easy to distinguish. You can see the Mi logo. Uh, on the old variation of the drone, it is in red over here, it's something like uh, a golden material. Now, what I totally love about it, just look how easy it is I'm using just one hand to detach and attach back the prop. It's, it's a special lock, uh, super easy and super convenient, so on this assembly it's a matter of seconds. Uh, secondly, we said the 4K camera, there is a gimbal you could purchase and use this camera just like I'm using the Mi Gi at the moment. It wouldn't have sound, I guess, but I'm not quite sure, so you might check the specifications. Uh, I figured out that this camera is picky on cards. Um, there are some U3 cards which would work, some wouldn't. Uh, currently I'm using a Samsung U3 card and it works, it works fine, it works well. We also have the legs which are easily attachable and detachable and we also have a battery which is quite huge. I think it's a four cell battery, also has a pretty fat price besides its outlook. The really good thing about the Mi drone is its repairability. Almost every part you can buy as a spare and although the price might a little bit see the overall package that you pay for, uh, it's, it's really great. Uh, if, if we take the DJI Phantom, for example, if you break the camera, uh, pretty much there is no way to repair it. And over here the camera is detachable. Yeah, and you can buy the camera as a spare part. Unfortunately, right now, uh, this spare part costs as much as buying a brand new Mi drone uh, with, with some sort of coupon or a discount. But um, you can buy motors relatively cheaply. I, I think they were below $15 a piece. Uh, you can buy some accessories like prop guards. Uh, there's an option to easily replace the body. And I can tell you, really, this procedure is not that uh, difficult. You can buy the GPS module. You can buy the compass separately. So fantastic you can go on gearbest.com where I found most of these spare parts and in case something is wrong with yours it's repairable so at the moment I believe this is a really good investment that is a kind of protected in time uh, thanks to all the spare parts you can purchase now in terms of flying uh, behaves well I told you it's more of a competition to the Phantom 3 SE because it wouldn't have any follow me or any other smart functions like uh, tracing objects or um, going nearby or you know you, you have to manually control that in order to do great footage which is nothing bad um, I'm anyways doing that with my spark and although I have all these smart functions I've noticed that in uh, windy weather because the CPU is really overloaded with trying to compensate um, all the stuff around vibrations and the gimbal is loaded to a maximum and you can really notice how slower those follow me and other smart functions are working. Of course, having them would be nice. With a price tag of already below 400 bucks, I think the Mi drone is worth checking. Now let's go and get some footage. Thank you. 
Flying with the Mi drone turned out to be really easy. I, I like the design of the controller and having those really large levers allows you to be very precise when you're uh, trying to trace an object or to shoot something in particular. Uh, also there is a convenient stand about the smartphone with some remarks. I have noticed that especially when you're trying to go uh, far away with the drone and the range exceeds 1000 meters, uh, this position of the antennas is not optimal so uh, you might want to remove your smartphone and just lift them upwards just like just like that so uh, in in that position in that position I was able to get uh, probably 500 meters more in terms of range compared to if if those antennas are pointing down uh, I guess also the smartphone has some sort of interference so the best thing would be to put it into airplane mode and, and just leave the USB connection. When the drone flies it's super stable so you wouldn't notice any vibrations and to that of course uh, come the compliments through the firmware updates. The procedure is rather easy, uh, you've got everything going through the application and um, well I, I gotta be fair, the first time when I tried to fly the Mi drone it took me like 40 minutes to make sure all the firmware updates are completed successfully. I love the app, super easy to control, very intuitive. Uh, having used the DJI GO 4 as application for quite a while, I think the Mi app is much easier. You have a feedback form and apparently Xiaomi are very insistent on keeping up to date with what their community insists. Yeah, there's, there's another aspect and that will be the battery aspect and uh, what I mean here is that the Mi drone app consumes around two times less battery than what the DJI GO would.